Hey you guys, I thought I would make a short video, I hope a short video, um, about I subscribed to the Book Riot quarterly box and that came today. So I thought that I would talk a little bit about that and then unbox for you guys. I've already unboxed it because I was really excited and I didn't think I was going to make this video. Um, so then I was like, no, you should do it. So I'm going to re-unbox. It's going to be so exciting. Um, a little bit of background about today. Started out relatively well. Um, I had a two hour delay because of cold weather. And then um, we had early dismissal today too. So I really only worked for like two hours. And I was like, man, this is going to be a weird slash awesome day. And I got up and I had time to take time with my makeup and I did my hair. It's in like a braided bun and I have like a sparkly hair bow holding it in and I braided my bangs back so that it all fits together. I was like, man, feeling pretty good about myself. Walked in within 10 minutes of my first class. Um, no fewer than six kids had made negative comments about my opinion appearance. So thumbs up on being rude to other people, like whatever. And even though like my personal self-worth is not in any way determined by what middle schoolers think about me. Like, all I could think about was that, like, I had time to put an effort into how I look today. I don't always do that. Um, my cousin stays with me a lot. I end up getting her ready in the morning. I'm always packing lunches and fixing breakfast. And honestly, I would rather spend five minutes in my car doing my makeup than getting up 20 minutes early just to do that. So, generally, I lay my clothes out at night. I don't care how I look. But all I could think about today was, like, how many rude things do they say to their peers who are at such a more vulnerable time in their lives? Like, if they feel comfortable saying to me, an adult, rude things about the way I look today, then what were they saying to their peers who they have absolutely no boundaries with? And I really, I thought about that a lot today, and then I spent a lot of time thinking about some of the terrible allegations that have come out about um, people who have a really, really big online followings um, and have used that as a disadvantage to other people and I have just spent the day so upset and so disgusted by people who just can't treat people well. And that's a whole other video I guess and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it but I went to Walmart after school because I had to go to the grocery store and I got awesome gum that's sweet cherry lime. And it really tastes exactly like a cherry limeade from Sonic. So that's nice. Cherry limeade in my mouth all the time. And then Chapstick has these new mix sticks. And this one is lemon and berry. And you can do just berry or just lemon. Or you can mix them together for like berry lemonade. I was like, dang. This is going to be an alright afternoon. I can go home. I can chillax. And then I got home. And my quarterly box was here. And I was so happy. Um, quarterly, as you can imagine, is a subscription service where you get a box every quarter. So once every three months, you pay usually a large price. These are bigger than like your birch box bags or whatever because you're getting a fewer shipments. My bangs, when my bangs came out, it's all funny. Um, and also you're getting more than you're going to get in one of those small subscription boxes. Um, I got the Book Riot box, and Book Riot is one of my favorite websites. I will link it down below. Um, and they, as you can imagine, are a community that discusses primarily books. Um, they do everything from, they do like diversity, and they do like uh, critical linking uh, roundups of book news. They have a podcast that I listen to religiously that I've talked to before about before um, that covers a lot of really interesting things, and they do... Uh, new books and books that are old but that they have discovered and they do just all different kinds. They do a book fetish which is bookish items that they think readers will like and they're everything from like t-shirts to notebooks to cups to posters to all different kinds of stuff. And so they brand their quarterly box as all of the stuff from book fetish plus a book. So it's a $50 subscription, and I was, honestly, this is the second box. I was not willing to commit to the first one until I saw what was inside of it. And I still had some concerns because I don't read a lot. Um, I, I tend to be a very specific reader, 
But one of my goals this year is to be a more diverse reader, and that's across genre, across age group, across character diversity, across author diversity, um, situations that might make me uncomfortable, books I've never heard of. I really want to dedicate some time to expanding my boundaries as a reader. So I thought I can always try it and cancel it if I hate it. Spoiler alert, I am not going to be canceling this. I was very, very impressed with my first box. So, if you are bookish, I would definitely recommend getting this quickly because it's not going to go... I mean, they only have a limited number and they sold out pretty quickly last time. So, uh, that's why I'm trying to post quickly today. They, um, they're they currently taking orders. But if you don't like books, they have a ton of other stuff. Nina Garcia has a box that she does. And, like, there are some chefs. There are a ton of different creators. And I really kind of have to not look very often because I cannot afford all of the quarterly boxes. But I kind of want to subscribe to all of the quarterly boxes. So, since this is already at six minutes and I don't want it to be much longer, let's reveal the contents of the box. Dun, 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 dun. I got a really nice, like, letter from Book Riot. It's like six pages and it describes... A little bit about who Book Riot is, just in case you don't know. And then there is um, a rundown of all of the items that are inside the box. And it's really nice. And it, they have special content for you, which is super awesome. Like, I can go to the store and buy these, but I can't get all of the special content. That's exclusive. And that's really nice. So first, I got this novella, which is Parnassus on Wheels, about a man who owns a bookmobile. And he sells it to a couple who just end up going around selling a bunch of books, I think, is what it said. Um, I don't know a lot about it. I literally just opened this box five minutes ago. And it came with this awesome poster, which I'm trying to decide where I'm going to hang up because I have very limited space, that says, Read Everywhere. And it has a picture of people, like, in a... It's an old bookmobile. So this is really cool. I was really happy about that. Um, this is kind of like ideal art for me. Black and white photos, books, bold print. I like all of that. The next thing that it had was this book called Judging a Book by Its Lover by Lauren Leto, who I did not know until I read the back of the book, is kind of the mastermind behind the humor blog Texts from, Texts from Last Night, which is hilarious. If you haven't checked that out, look it up. It's great. Um, but this is a book of essays about being a reader and loving to read and loving all of the things that that includes. Um, and even like how to fake your way through reading it, like fake it till you make it. If you have never read, uh, Cormac McCarthy's On the Road. And like, I don't know, I'm so excited about this book. I love to read books about reading and I love to read books by readers. Um, I really like essays and stuff. So this is actually going in my work bag tonight. I can't wait. And then the special content with this one is that the author Lauren Leto wrote three exclusive how to fake it um, essays, I guess. They're not really essays, but it's like a how-to guide to fake through three authors. Um, Karen Russell. Oh. Donna Tart, who wrote The Goldfinch, which won like 500 awards this year. And, oh, the Americana lady. Whose name I'm not going to try to say. Because it um, has all the letters in it. And I don't want to butcher that on YouTube. But, um. Uh, you can't see it very well, but it's right here. So, but she wrote Americana, which Beyonce gave a shout out to. So, um, I'm probably going to have to read that sometime, right? Beyonce's telling me to. Um, the other things I got that were kind of like book riot-y, fetish -y kind of things. Um, I got a banned books mug. So, I love tea and I love mugs and hot coffee, or hot chocolate. I don't drink hot coffee. And this just has all different kinds of Animal Farm, my favorite banned book. Um, you guys know how I feel about banned books, but, um, some of these are not in English, so I don't know what they are, but Antango Makes Three, which is about penguins, um, lots of controversy, so I'm excited to wash this up and drink out of it maybe tomorrow morning. It also came with these, um, really cool book darts, which are just, I, I don't know, like, these are things that make me wonder why I don't just spend my time coming up with great ideas and not having a real job. But it's just a small little dart, 
with a pointer that you can use to mark either a book that you haven't finished or a book that has like favorite things that you want to remember forever but you don't want to necessarily write in your book. Um, for my summer program, I am doing a lot of book-related activities, and I plan on using these to tag areas in books that I need to quickly come up with without having to put post-its and stuff, because sometimes that messes up the print. I also got a flash drive from Short Story Thursdays, which apparently is a newsletter of sorts where... Hold on, I have to look up the guy's name. I'm so unprepared, I'm sorry. A man named Jacob Tomsky, or Tom Sky, but I think it's probably Tomsky, um, writes these short stories and sends them via email. So this flash drive has a list, like a video from him explaining the project, and then it also has several short stories that you can read to sample it and decide whether you want to sign up for the um, short story emails. I don't know if that costs any money or not. I'll, you know, I'll follow up and let you guys know what I think. Um, so that was all of the standard product that you got. So to recap, I got a book, a novella, a mug, book darts, and, um, an exclusive book riot jump drive filled with short stories and video content. Then some people got arcs of books which are advanced reader copies. These are things that publishers send out, usually to booksellers, big-time book reviewers, and librarians who um, have the opportunity to read them and decide whether they're going to fit for their customers. And I got The Steady Running of the Hour by Justin Go. I have never heard of this book. I've never heard of any of these books, truthfully, which is nice, but also, like, it's exciting and daunting because... I paid for them, but I don't feel like I paid for them. I feel like someone just sent me a box full of surprise books, which is exciting. But this is about a man who, um, from what I can understand from the back of it, basically this guy climbs Mount Everest and he dies and he leaves all of his money and his estate to this woman who never claims it. And so, like, when she dies, like, 80 years later, somebody else comes into that inheritance and are kind of trying to figure out why nothing ever happened with that book and it has to do with um war and violence and love and happiness and all kinds of stuff um it's got some of my favorite things in books which are maps i love books with maps in them and it has like a different like different ways of telling the story it looks like just flipping through it looks like there are some different methods of storytelling. Um, it flips back and forth from, like, present time to the past. There are some letters, some dialogue. So, that's exciting. Um, and it's really cool for publishers to donate novels for this. Um, this book comes out in May, so I might try to read it before May. And then I'll post a video following up on that. Um, I've been dealing with some kind of heavy emotional stuff, so depending on how, um, heavy this is, I, I may not be able to handle it until later in the year, but, um, I would like to read it before May and do a book review the week it's supposed to come out so that you guys, if you want to read it, can pick it up. So, this ran kind of long because I kind of ranted at the middle, at the beginning, and I'm really sorry for that. I try, I'm trying to keep my videos shorter so that... <laughs> when I make them once every month, you guys stay more engaged. But I thought this was a really cool thing. Um, I'm very, very impressed by Quarterly and Book Riot uh, has impressed me for months and months and months now since I first, actually almost a year since I first discovered them. And I think that it's such a quality website. If you're at all interested in books, then it's a great resource for you. And I, like I said, I'll link it below and I'll send, I'll put a quarterly link in there too so that you guys, whether you're book fans or whatever fans, I'm sure there's something that you can find there. And I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. Um, I don't like to check out prices of things, but this is a $15 book. This is a $10 book, so that's $25. So just those books are half of the cost of what this box cost me. So I feel like I, I'm more than got my money's worth 
out of all of the stuff that I got. So, sorry that this video is 15 minutes long. If you made it this far, thank you for watching me and not being discouraged by my grumpiness at the beginning. I did finish two audiobooks that were similar but very different. Uh, Bossy Pants and Mandy Kaling. Mindy, Mindy Kaling's Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns. I plan on doing like a co-book book review this weekend or the beginning of next week. So look for that. I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of the week since it's Thursday and a great weekend. Bye!